Okay, here's this 1923 Aeola. Uh, it's been, it's had some work done to it. I've replaced uh, Steve Dickinson. I uh, did some work on 15 of the reeds, uh, either retuning or retonguing or completely replacing the whole reed assembly. I've got new uh, gasket on the ends, including the bellows ends and the uh, uh, reed pan. Uh, and I've decided I just want to sell it rather than continue on it because it's too big for me. I'm used to a treble. I used to have a really nice aeola, just a 48 key treble. Uh, but this is a tenor treble, or excuse me, a, a treble tenor? tenor. It, it's got extra low notes. Uh, and it's much heavier because of the eight extra notes on the bottom. They're all large reeds. And it's also larger, physically larger, than a treble, and I'm just not, I'm just never going to get used to it because I've been playing just a regular 48 key for 30 years, so, uh, so I'm going to let it go. It's playable the way it is now, it's actually a pretty good session instrument, uh, but it's not really, it cosmetically it's pretty rough, uh, and it could benefit for sure from a refurbishment, meaning put new pads, valve springs, uh, and then a final, uh, a good tuning. Uh, but it's good enough to play in a session. And all the uh, all the keys are sounding. Uh, sometimes you might get a little bit of a uh, a buzzy key or something that's not sounding. But it, it, you know, as with all of these, you need to kind of maybe screw around with them a little bit. But. Uh, So it's it's playing uh, like I said it's good enough for a uh, session. It's a great instrument. I'm going to lower the price. Uh, I've got about 2,500 bucks in it. I don't think it's worth 2,500 bucks uh, to sell it as it is. So I'm going to lower the price substantially, uh, and I'll take any legitimate offers. Uh, it'd be a really nice instrument for somebody who wants to step up from a uh, an accordion reeded concertina to a real concertina with real concertina reeds, plays like a real concertina, sounds like a real concertina. So, uh, I just don't want to put any more money or effort in it because physically I'm not happy with it. It's just uh, something that I just will not ever get used to. It does come with a really nice case that I spent 300 bucks on. Uh, it's a, uh, an original case. Let me go get that for you. It's an original Wheatstone tenor treble case. which is in pretty good condition. The instrument fits perfectly in it because uh, that instrument won't fit in a regular concertina case. It's, uh, it's considerably larger. When I say considerably larger, I don't know the exact measure. It's probably at least a half an inch or three quarters of an inch wider in all directions. 